First, add beat markers with M so you know how long the clip is. Now find the part of the clip you would like to time stretch. Split it and add an image or anything to fill in the blank space. Trim the image you added to the second beat marker. Something like this. Now for a smoother flow, cut the dead frames. To do this, use your arrow keys to move right and left, and split every time the character moves or changes. Now, hover over all the clips you cut, press Ctrl and D, click frames, and set it to 1. Hover over Edit at the top of the screen, and click Delete Gaps to delete the gaps you have left. Now, hover over it all including the image which is only needed for blank space to fill, and create a compound clip. Next, open the Fusion page to start the time stretch. Add a time stretcher node, TST, and make sure you're at the beginning of the clip for the source time. Now, move to where the clip ends and add a keyframe for source time. For the number, put in what it says right in this box, Open the Spline tab, hover over the second keyframe for source time, and move it to the second beat mark by hovering, holding Shift, and dragging it. Click a blank area in the spline, press Ctrl A, then S to smooth it, and make a graph similar to mine's. Feel free to freestyle. Click Flow, clamp edges, and check both boxes for backwards in the warp section. Next, add a optical flow node of and connect it before the time stretcher node. Choose your smoothness, I usually go with 50. And now you're done.